Plotters. Plotting. It's like a 3D printer, but in 2D. And instead of extruding plastic, we're drawing with a ballpoint pen. Can you believe that this simple vinyl cutter at the London Hackspace has a plotting attachment, which, until very recently, had never been used? I know this because it was still in its original packaging when I found it. I'd been dreading learning how to use this because I've used Chinese CNC machines in the past. My laser cutter has a Chinese control board and terrible Chinese software, and although I've learnt its quirks, the laser cutter at the London Hackspace also has a Chinese control board and also has terrible Chinese software, but its quirks are completely different, so it's like starting over. The only solution is to replace the control board, that is, you physically rip out the electronics and install new hardware. Picture my delight, then, when the plotter turned out to have the simplest, easiest interface I've ever encountered. It speaks a language called HPGL, which was defined in the 1970s and hasn't changed. You don't need a driver or to install anything, it just appears as a serial port. Inkscape is just one of many open source programs that can generate HPGL directly. Naturally, the first thing I plotted was a picture of a ballpoint pen, but after that I started to explore the world of plotter art. SquiggleCam is an excellent program that turns pictures into squiggles. Up close it's just squiggles, but take a step back and it's almost photorealistic. I had one complaint about it, it always draws the squiggles in the same direction, which means it's slower than it could be, and there's a tendency for a blob of ink to accumulate on the side of the pen. Since it's open source, I thought I'd edit it, but unfortunately it's written in Vue.js, and don't laugh, I have an irrational fear of front-end frameworks. Like a housewife disposing of a dead rat, I keep those frameworks at an arm's length wherever possible, and since the change I wanted to make was so tiny, I found it easiest to just unminimize the JavaScript and edit the few lines that mattered. This worked, but left to right squiggling still wasn't enough to prevent blobs of ink ruining my plots. My next idea was a spiral squiggle, which worked well, but still wasn't perfect. At this point, I'd also been playing around with other plotter art programs. There was StippleGen, which gives fantastic results, but runs quite slowly. And because it's single-threaded, the user interface freezes while it's running. And also LineDraw.py, which looks great, but needing to invoke it from the command line is a chore. What I needed was a playground for plotter art. Something simple that solves the aforementioned problems while letting me come up with new algorithms as quickly as possible. So I came up with this, which I call Plotter Fun. Each algorithm is in a separate JS file and is loaded as a web worker, so even the most intense calculation won't cause the controls to freeze. The messages between web worker and main program are as simple as I could make them, the idea being that adding new algorithms is as easy as possible. In addition to writing new algorithms, I also ported across some of my favourites, including SquiggleCam, LineDraw, and StippleGen. Though in the case of StippleGen, maybe ported is the wrong word. I re-implemented StippleGen. Full credit to the author of StippleGen, the iterative weighted Voronoi stippling is quite a complex algorithm. I used an existing JavaScript Voronoi library, but the rest of it was written from scratch. Partly because it's JavaScript, and partly because I used a different technique to do the polygon integration, my version of StippleGen runs a lot faster. And, most importantly, the controls still work while it's running. LineDraw is more of a direct port. I did my own Sobel filter, but the lines are traced using the same technique. I slightly optimised how the hatching is done, but the original Python wasn't exactly slow. The main benefit here is the interface, being able to select a picture or your webcam. Love or hate JavaScript? It is the most platform agnostic language on the planet, and keeping it vanilla, in my mind at least, makes it a whole lot simpler. I managed to convince quite a few people to join in with the plotter art escapades, and I'm sure we would have continued if not for the sudden lockdown cutting our plotter adventure short. For the last few months I have not been able to plot anything, but hopefully we can continue soon. In the meantime, if you'd like to delve into plotter art, feel free to try out my program, write your own algorithm, and submit a pull request. It'll be great. And I promise my next video will be about synthesizers. Probably. Maybe. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.